y'all i hope you are having a great day today today i wanted to share my review of the woman in cabin 10 by ruth rare so let's go ahead and get started this is what the cover of the book looks like i absolutely adore it i think that it is well fitting it really does set the scene which is where a middle-aged journalist named laura low blacklock she has had a traumatizing event with being burglarized and attacked by her burglar but she's trying to prevail and push forward with her life and she goes on a company related trip which um has her going on a maiden voyage cruise and where she just has to, like give a review of the cruise and stuff and while she is on the trip she um hears um a possible murder go down in the room beside of hers and when she tells the uh crew and the crew checks out to the boat they find out that everybody's accounted for and so she's trying to find out what really happened to the woman in cabin 10. so in this book i found it very difficult i almost dnf'd it 50 pages in and that is because of the main character i didn't like her <laughs> and i know people are like well why did you read the book if you didn't like the main character well despite that i didn't like her almost 50 pages in where had a really good story built up and I wanted to know what happened to the girl in cabin 10 so I, it kept me it kept me really drawn in my issues with low stem from where constantly having so much happen to her it was almost like a YA story where like it's like non freaking stop where first of all she's burglarized and then she breaks up with her boyfriend temporarily possibly because she's a clueless 30 year old who has no communication skills um and with her boyfriend and she gets assaulted on the ship and then she gets kidnapped by the person that was in cabin 10 it's it's a lot and I thought I was running through kind of like almost soap opera YA kind of deal and I was like girl simmer down now it is too much for me <laughs> and the fact that Lo is so rude the entire time I mean from start to finish it was like she was so disassociative and also um, she tried to <laughs> excuse it by because she suffers from chronic panic attacks and her burglary. Her burglary in terms of like, oh my gosh, horrific events. I'm sure if it was a real life person, terrifying. I'm talking about a book character. The dude, yes, yes. The dude who is burglarizing her shut her bedroom door. And when he shut her bedroom door, that's what woke her up because she doesn't sleep with it shut because she has a pet cat. And she wakes up, puts on her nightgown, cover up thing, opens the door and there is said burglary. He does not do anything except shove her back in her room, slam her door shut and cut the, or bang off the handle on the other side. So he doesn't try to get back in there with her, obviously, because he just broke the door. No, he's not getting back in unless he really, really wants in. But he never goes back in. Not that it excuses stealing and burglarizing and shoving her. But she's just stuck in her room for two hours. Two hours. This is by her her time frame in the book. That she says she's been in there for two hours picking up the doorknob to get it open. And I'm like, girl, are you really that claustrophobic in your bedroom? You didn't even start picking the lock on the door until you heard him leave and made sure he didn't come back. And I'm like, is it really that serious? What I mean, but also I've never suffered from claustrophobia. So I personally would not know. I guess for a real life individual, that would be so much more intense. But in the book, she doesn't state anything about having any kind of like prior, like space issues considering she thinks she says that she lives in like a 300 foot apartment, square foot apartment. I mean, flat. And, and I'm like, Okay, so if you're claustrophobic, why do you why do you already live in a small space to begin with? But my house is like 1500 square feet. So there's a huge like difference. But anyways, um but yeah, I was like why are you so hard pressed girl? Now I would completely understand if afterwards what happened with Ben in the book where he assaults her trigger warning for assault. Um, but she was just so hateful and awful the entire time. 
time. And I'm like, a girl, I can't relate to you or like you in the slightest. And that really is the reason why this book lost two stars straight up for me because of that. I couldn't handle all of the rudeness and the um, feeling that I was rereading AJ Fenn's Woman in the Window just on a cruise. Because in that particular um, book, all the main character did in that book was drink alcohol and slightly out of her mind figure out what was going on. And that's what I felt like until like 96% of the book was done. She finally thought it'd be really wise to be sober after everything that had happened. <laughs> She decided to be sober during the last tail end of the book. She decided that. So, um, it was very difficult for me to like her and it did drop the rating of the book. I do want to say though that the storyline was really good. Um, I liked how original that it was in terms of what I've read for like cruise thriller murder mystery and I've not read a whole bunch of those but it was really original for me. I really liked how it was really like a double play and how not everything was exactly how it seemed. I enjoyed Carrie as being both a victim and a killer. I think that that was really, really smart and super cool. I loved the ending of this book, even though it doesn't have like a sequel or anything like that, it left it right there. So you get the feeling that everything was completed. Well, my overall thoughts are, is that um, this book is a good book. Is it great? Not so much. I do give this a rating of three out of five stars. I still recommend it because even though I didn't like Lo, that doesn't mean that you won't. You will be, you might be able to find a way to be happy with her as a main character. I'm still gonna check out Rara's work in the future, so this one book isn't gonna deter that for me. I still wanna see if I can find some really good wins within her bodies of work. And let me know down below, have you read this book? If you have, did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Or are you gonna pick it up? Uh, please, if you did like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to check out some more content by me that's not on YouTube, I do have my own blog, which is ajprice.wordpress.com, and that'll be a link in all my other socials down below. Don't forget to add me there. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and Happy New Year, guys. Bye!